All right, so here I'm going to fit the neck in. Um, I'm going to check it. I, actually, I had a shot of video and it, it, uh, the camera fell, so I had to start over again. Um, I already put the shim in here. I'm going to take that out now. All right, so I'm going to fit the neck. Um, <clears throat> make sure the neck angle and all is okay. I want to, um, so I have my neck. I'm going to put that over here for now. First thing I'm going to do is I got the screws. I got this really, really nice Fender aluminum plate, which is beautiful. Um, and then I have the screws that came with it, and they're um, 4.14 millimeters wide. So I'm going to need a drill bit that's about 3.85, 3.95 millimeters to uh, put these in. I got the deck, the body here. I'm going to uh, take the neck and I'll fit that in there. Now I don't know if I'm going to need a shim or not. Actually, I do know because I already did it. But in this one, I'm going to take a straight edge. I'm going to lay it across the frets like this. And I'm going to check right here to see if i got to raise the action or lower the action. Or where I want it to be. I want to be able to go up or down. And I don't want these screws sticking up, running into his hand. But I also don't want it to be, like, way up. Because i got my pickups and everything. I want to make sure. Because th these pickups only go so high. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to look underneath here. I'm going to say, uh, I can see that I'm going to need a shim. I got to shim it up just a little bit. And uh, so what I use for shim is, uh, let me use business cards, whatever. It depends on the thickness. I only need to make it like 20 thousandths. So I have like this double stick sandpaper. This is 320. I have 180. I have 220, 320, 400. Each one's a different thickness. Um, you could mic it up. It's almost impossible to see, but it's a 0.21 millimeters. So I'm going to cut this and make a shim. I'm going to put that in there. Whoops, there it is. I'm going to take this out. Remember I said push down on this? Down. So the neck comes out perfect. Okay, slide that. Put that right there. Put my shim in. And we're going to uh, push the neck in like that. While it's flat, make sure it's in. I'm going to check the neck angle again. Make sure that I got the room where I want it to be. And now it's it's perfect. I can see it's sliding right over the saddle. So I can raise the saddles. These screws won't be sticking up to hurt his hand. And uh, we'll have perfect action. To drill it, like I said, I was 4.14. So I'm going to get a drill bit. Which I already... Uh, I, I had shot this video already. So I already put tape on it to show me the depth that I'm going to go. And then I'm going to check this bit. Well, you can check it down here, actually. And it's a 3.75. I'm going to use that. I'll put it in my little drill here. Now, when you're going to drill this, um, make sure anything's out of your way. You want to hold your hand. You want to hold this like this. You want to hold it tight when you drill it. Now, I'm not in the video, so I'm going to do it this way, which I normally wouldn't do. Um, I see the depth of my tape, and what we're going to do is we're going to draw just to the ta to tape that. I had already dialed this hole. I feel like I'm going back into original hole. Right? I don't usually hold it like that, but for the video, I'm going to take this out, blow all the crap out, and take. This is grease. I'm going to grease these holes. So, put a little bit of grease. I don't have, let me see what I have. This will work perfect. Okay. I'm going to take some grease. I just want to grease the holes. Um, you can see it here. Just put grease inside these. This is a regular grease you buy. I don't know what kind it is. Not special or nothing. I think people use wax. I've seen all kind of candle wax, whatever you want to use. I just want to get that in there. That way it won't crack and it'll it'll thread nicely in there. So we just put that in there. Like that. Now we're going to screw it in. Push the neck in nice and tight. Make sure it's nice and tight here. Nice and tight here. And then we'll put the plate on. Which I know I'm not gonna. I don't normally do it like this. I'm just gonna show you real quick. Um, put the plate on. I'm gonna put the screws in.
Okay, you need a good number two on this one, a good number two Phillips. You know, I'm gonna start it, but I'm gonna actually lift it up and hold it tight with my hand like this. Again, this isn't the angle I usually do it on, so pardon me. We're gonna screw it in. I'm holding it tight, I'm holding it real tight. Now because of that grease, see how nice the screw's going in? And you always wanna push pressure on the screw. Um, you don't wanna strip it. A lot of people, they especially when you use electric screw guns, they'll, um, they'll wind up stripping them out. So I'm pushing down so I don't strip it out. I'm still holding it tight. And normally I do it in this position. But you can't see it. <laughs> so if I was to do it like this. It's hard to get it in the video. But you gotta use a down pressure. You don't want to slip off and scratch it. You could use a power screw gun. That's fine. No big deal. I just get nervous in the old days. You, the polyester would crack. This is lacquer. But... Um, I'm already in six minutes into this video, so. All right, so I got that on there. I want this. I should have taped that. Talk when you're doing video. All right, so my uh, it's in there. I'm just gonna tighten these up. And they they say you go one, four, three, two, or something. Um, you can do them out of out of that. It's, you cross. That's what they say. Does it really matter? I don't know. <laughs> and there you have it. So the neck is now set. Uh, next, we're, I guess we're going to actually string it up. We're pretty close to stringing it. And uh, I'll be back in the next video.